Oh, welcome one, welcome all. That's what pretty a, funny. <laughs> what a blessed Tuesday. David is in his butter sweatshirt. Oh, yeah. You know, I got to tell you, before Rico says anything, before we do anything on a national championship Tuesday, I want to just tell you how Kenny is celebrating the Wolverines 15-0 and season. He was pounding mott sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny is in his feelings bad. But, David, my attention turns to you. Before we start and before Rico goes on a soliloquy, I have to ask you the question. I just, Rico, work with me. Okay. David, in, in the dimly lit den at the Hatchet Man Estate last mm. night, right around 11 p.m., I'm sure the kids were allowed to stay up a little later, but Daddy was in his office you may have been wearing the same butter-colored sweatshirt. The clock's running down, and, you know, you had you had Fowler and, and Herb Street. I know Fowler delivered a line. I know a lot of Wolverines didn't like. A right lot of people there. may consider it tarnished. <laughs> right up there with Tarico's line at the Woo! end of the Kansas City game. But, David, just, just because cheating or not, my team's never winning one. Just tell me. Tell me what it felt like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it felt like. It was amazing last night. It really was. Or as Lomas Brown said during the Lions pregame, prime in that pump. David, just just take Rico and I through it. Our team's never going to win one, cheating or not. What, what was it like in the moment? It, did, did the kids all get along? No, they did not get along. <laughs> <laughs> they, they did not get along. My uh, middle son didn't even want to watch the game with us. He came towards the end to see what the score was. My oldest tried to get a high five from him, and he said, oh. get out of my face. That's the, Which I expected that and, to happen. And that's why the oldest is going to be living with him one day, because he'll be homeless. Oh, no, we celebrated. The two of us celebrated. <laughs> he will not be homeless. We've, we've been on the air for two minutes. Rico's gone after one of David's children. No, no, no. the middle child is going to be the successful child. The older one will be the ne'er-do-well of the family. We had fun last night. I'll just say we that's had fun That's good for him. Night. David, yeah. David, how satisfying. I sat back for a second for for a long time, and I said, wow, I never thought this would happen. Mm. Jim Harbaugh was 0 for whatever against Ohio State and never made it to Indy. I thought it was over. I wanted him gone, and he finally turned it around. Now, I'm not going to talk about how he turned it around, but he turned it around. I'll say this, Kenny, for about two weeks in September, you're going to have to take over the producer's role. Nope, 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 nope. We're, nope, we're That's good. how happy David was. Are we making the announcement? <laughs> David, did you? No, we're good. Did you get your swerve on last night? We're good. Da David? Honey! We the national champs! Kids, here's $20. Get the hell out of the house. Hold my trophy! <laughs> ah! Do you like the names JJ, Donovan, or no, Blake? <laughs> baby Houston is on the way. Hey, you may want to get the name of the lead official. Give him a consideration, too. But listen, <laughs> Rico, <laughs> what I want to do, look, everything is available today. Make no mistake about it. Now, there's only one thing you can do where you're going to play stupid games and win stupid prizes. So here's the only ground rule I put out there. You don't get to do what your coach did on that podium. Give yourself absolution. Don't come up here <laughs> with the whole we're innocent routine. Jim, I hate to tell you, your school disagrees. They bopped you the first three games of the year. Oh, and by the way, your amicus brief got thrown out of court. So you just, Jim, God bless. We could talk the football and talk the natty. And I, hey, I got one Wolverine, but I have two. I only texted one. The other's kind of a nut. But the one, oh, we, we texted totally friendly. There's no yeah. problem. He, oh, no, went, no, no. he went to the school. We're good. I've known him for 20 years. My God, yeah, I, I did the same. I texted a few Wolverine friends. One, I may have encouraged his son to go ahead and leave a year early and just try out the XFL because he doesn't need to come back because he may or may not have won a defensive player of the year. Okay. I mean, defensive player of the game last night. All right. Like, so Will doesn't need to come back. Just don't do what Harbaugh did. <laughs> no, because that was just straight clown behavior. But that's what he is. It's fine. But Rico, I think you have made an admission, and I think it's a good one. And it is the ultimate example of both things are true. Yeah. 
I, Rico Beard to the main stage. Well, after watching the game last night. Your I, experience was a little different than David. It was a little different than David. Yes, it was. On the fourth and two play when Odunzi got overthrown. Live look at Rico's Barker lounger. TV <laughs> out the window, second floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy another one. <laughs> but after, in, after watching the game, you realize, man, Michigan had the season. They went through the Big Ten. They beat Ohio State. They beat Bama. Bama's going to always be the gold standard of college football. And then they went out there and they beat the best quarterback in the nation and Michael Penix. Had a horrible game last night. And they went a natty. And the whole time you're thinking, why did you have to cheat? Why did you have to do what you did? Because you didn't need to do that. You tarnished your own leg. This would have been a really special season. You were Barry Bonds. You were the Houston Astros. You were the, the New England Patriots in their heyday. You were good enough to do this all on your own. That I can't separate the two, but I can appreciate what happened and the season that this team had because there was no, well, you didn't play this team or you didn't go through this. You had the easy path. They had a difficult path, and they went through it all. But you didn't need to do what you had to do. Because that, to me, it takes away from it. I can't separate it, and I'll always look at it as, man, that was so unnecessary. You were good enough to do this all on your own. You knocked off Alabama. You went out there and you beat Michael Penix, who I thought should have won the Heisman Trophy. You thought Jaden Daniels? Buddy. Mikey had a bad game. But, but, yeah, you know what? Mikey had a bad hey, game. Hey, he had a bad game. Enjoy the second round. He had a bad game. Enjoy the second round. I, so I'm just, I had to hey. listen about how good Penix was all he year. He was. And then the night America needed him, he bleeped down his leg. He did. In a ski mask. He did. No, he didn't have on. The, uh, he did. I, I'm not going to sit here and make excuses. I hold he, you responsible. Okay. You now, know what? I feel responsible. What I'm excited I'm sorry, about. Because I told you he was a lot better. And I'm like, David, you know what I'm pumped up about? Do you remember how hard he fought me about state cheating and yes. getting the Omar Showbar oh, fan section? Yes. You know I what? hope Jonathan Smith cheats his wiener oh, off. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah, just let's roll. Straight up the you. I want parties. Would you what you want to drink? I'm gonna hire Nevin Shapiro. You, you need some vitamin C? What you need? God, because we're gonna get it for you. We want you to go to this school. Because before a team meeting, whatever you need. There's no boundaries. There are no boundaries because if you do something, you know what it's gonna get called? Adversity. I like it. Distractions. Distractions and adversities. You made it through all of that, even if it's self-imposed. But you I know want what? Jonathan Smith to go out there. Mike, we're going to bring your booty lounge. We're it's kicking the, the handicapped out. Booty lounge is going in. Omar Showbar in the team facility. We're going to have a strip club in the facility. Yep. It's going to be outstanding. Yep. What, what Rico is saying, though, David, he's right. He's right. You were good enough to do this, and you still did the dirt. So I just say thank you because it makes today easy. Yeah. If you had done this in a pristine manner, oh, no, today would have been like, oh, God. I would have hurt. It would have been but, painful. I mean, the fact is you're Kansas basketball. And I don't know. Maybe yeah. nothing will happen to you like Kansas basketball. But you know what everyone in the sport knows? <laughs> you're Kansas basketball. Right. Yeah, they were like, very did you, sloppy with the way they did this. Did you, so. did it you, was egregious. Yeah. It was David. silly. Because look at how good you were against Penn State. Look how good you were against Ohio State. You had the dramatic Rose Bowl win. And last night, look. I don't take pleasure in being right about it because it hurts Rico. Washington didn't belong on the same field as you. It was Washington didn't belong on the same field, but you know who showed up? Hadn't been there all season long. Uh, I got you. I'll tell you what was what sexy, too. What is going on? Like, two was runs, the, two touchdowns. And two egregious non-called holdings. Oh, well, yeah, that happened, too. My bad. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> as Herbstreit said, they're just letting them play out there. So, you know what's going to be awesome? is the amount of idiots that are going to call this show and violate my one rule. So that's fine, because I'm here till 6. You don't get to say you didn't cheat. I mean, you can have everything else. Did, did you really need to go and dress up no. on the Central Michigan sideline to beat MSU this year? No, you no, didn't, no, no, no. But you did. But you did. So we could talk about the natty, because if you didn't have fun last night, you need your head checked. It doesn't matter what's coming. 
It doesn't matter if Harbaugh's here or not. It doesn't matter if Ward disappears. It doesn't matter if the NCAA takes away wins. You got the memory. You got the moment. If you're calling a radio show to try to get the one thing you can't have, that's a YP, not an MP. That's on you. And there must be something behind it that hits home. Otherwise, why would you call and hold? Because I got news for you. You can call whatever other radio show at this station you like. They may give you what you want. I'm not. I don't have a block M on my paycheck. So I'm not gi- I don't have to give you anything. You don't have a motivational seminar? I don't, but I love the one that we do. <laughs> like, reality is they were probably good enough to do this on their own. They were. Which is why I would be annoyed as a fan that they ever did it. Because this team had the one thing that you can't really put into a stat. The cheating helped them in this regard. That while they didn't cheat to beat OSU or Bama or Washington, it was the scandal that united them. Mm-hmm. I, I said this for weeks. I don't have to respect how you arrived at this weird Voltron unity. And I'll say this. But man, is it a powerful tool. Here's the one thing that I do respect that they did legally. And I'm surprised other teams had to... The internship they got with the Baltimore Ravens and bringing in the Ravens guy to 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 architect that defense and make man, you, you, I mean mentor and I forgot the guy you had before Mike McDonald. Yeah, that's brilliant. Now that legal smart, all credit. I mean because you're playing professional defenses and most college players don't know what to do with that. The way you can manipulate and just make everybody look bad. That's a brilliant move. I think the other thing, and 248-539-9797, we had a moron drop off the line. I figured it would happen if I just gave the disclaimer. You should have just went to him first. Oh, I will. There'll be plenty of morons. They're not in short supply in that fan base. But my point is, the other thing that's really interesting, A, Ohio State winning the first playoff and you winning the last. But it's how you want it. Jim Harbaugh was brought back here, right? Leave out all the outside noise. Harbaugh was brought back here to return Michigan to what you felt was, A, playing Michigan football, and B, this mythical rightful place in college football, right? It was a circuitous route, and it took nine years, but he did it. It's partially why I think he's walking out the door, but he did it. You played Michigan football. That front seven is so good and so active, and that team and the togetherness, and the way they play offensively, it's not always pretty. Lord knows. I don't know why they asked J.J. to do a whole lot last night. Yes, he was terrible. But he didn't do much. But they tried, and through not doing much, it allowed UW to stay in that game at 17-10. If they just pounded the rock. <laughs> yeah. When he went uh, full Dan Gamble on a couple of those fourth down plays, I'm like, yeah, Jim, you're up. You're dominating defense. Punt the ball. The clock and time are your friends. David, That's I don't want to speak for you and Michigan fans, but I'm sitting there thinking, why are you doing this? Don't give Penix the ball back with half the field. Just run for 500 yards and get the hell up out of here. Right. Just it, punt the ball. No, it worked. Keep it going, yeah. All right, so we've established the baseline. we got a lot to do. David's in the butter shirt. Everybody's having a good time. I think you should. I've never asked you not to. Just don't bleep on my head and tell me it's raining. Now, if you choose to do that, well, that's on you. 248-539-9797. We get your calls. We got blitzes. David's got an all-too-early top 25 for next year that we're going to do. My head's going to explode. Rico, tell them all about it.